Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates. I'm here to share another project, my uh, Halloween mini series project shares, and this is day five. And this time around, I thought I would share some dangles that I've been working on. I've been, I dug out my beads and I wanted to make some dangles for um, journals that I made to pretty up the spines and such. So I was just having some fun and it looks a little bit of a mess here, but I'm trying to organize it. These are just cabochons that I was trying to add some bales to. So I did a whack of them so that I have some ready on hand. These cabochons I've bought from, um, I'll get you a little closer there. There we go. Um, off of Amazon. And these little pumpkin ones are from BB Crafts. Super cute, right? So I just thought I would use some uh, E6000 and put some bales on the back of them. So then I have them ready for for charms and dangles and such. So I believe I made, yes, I made four. Four dangles. Yep. So I'm just going to try to <laughs> organize them. There we go. So here's one of them. I just, again, I was going through my stash of beads. Um, I bought some bead kits from uh, Michael's that came out this year. So, cause I really like the color palette of the, the orange, the pinks and the greens and yellows and purples. So I was just playing around with those. And uh, yeah, I was just having some fun with the Hishi beads as well. Just being inspired off of YouTube, watching other people's uh, dangles on their swaps and such. So there's a pumpkin there, a skeleton, skeleton head. Here's another uh, little dangle that I did there. These are, oh, I don't remember where I got these. I want to say I got them from BB Crafts. Can't remember, but they're like erasers. But I just screwed in um, an eyelet, and then there you go, there's a charm. This is from a pair of earrings from Michaels that I bought a few years back. Just made that as a charm. And there's a moon here that I added a bale on. Just really cute, right? So when it's on a, excuse me, on a journal, it's just something really pretty. So yeah, that's one of them. Like again, I made four and I'm working on another one here, as you can see, but I haven't finished yet. I just figured, oh, I better do this video before day five comes around. So this one's is a longer one. I think this one was my first one possibly that I was making. Yes, I think this was the first one. So I really kind of loaded this one up. I have a little green reaper charm there. I think I got this off of Amazon. There's some Hishi beads here. I was just trying to play around. Like there's some Hishi beads on here with a bat dangling off of it. And some more Hishi beads with uh, this Hishi bead uh, bat. It came with the, in the kit. I made the, the word spooky, boo, eek. And then there's some uh, pumpkin charms on here. And also a candy corn dangle here. Another pumpkin charm. They're cute, right? Just really pretty. Just to pretty up your journals. And it's just something that I, I will do in front of the television. So I had my beads down here in my craft room, but... I figured if I'm in front of the TV, I'm watching something and fiddle, I would make more. So that's why I will be making more um, dangles for Halloween. And also I'll be working on some Christmas ones. Well, here's some more flat backs. <laughs> Funny faces, eh? So here's another one. This one has a cute little ghosty. Oh, isn't he cute? Some Hishi beads there. I got the word boo with a skeleton head there, little skeleton uh, charm, spooky. Oh, okay. I got another word boo here. I didn't realize that. I guess I got it in the black block letters and then in the blue, um, excuse me, in the white round ones here. Some more bead dangles, pumpkin, a uh, little candy piece here. I got the word eek, a ghosty there, oh, sorry. There's a pumpkin there, 
a ghosty with the word eek, and another pumpkin here, a jack-o'-lantern. I'm trying to find, where's the lobster claw? There we go. So yeah, that's another one. Really pretty. I just, like I said, I was just having fun. I'm not no pro in uh, wire wrapping or anything like that. I'm re really terrible at it, but I do my best. So there's that. And then my other one here. Oh, here we go. It's the last one I'm going to share with you guys. I add uh, this big block letter uh, Halloween here with some beads and some charms on the bottom, a little haunted house and a skull there, some Hishi beads, jack-o'-lantern, more beads and Hishi beads, another jack-o'-lantern. This came off of earrings from Michael's years ago. I just thought it looked cute to put it there. And various other beads, a little witch's hat, the word scary, and then uh, another jack-o'-lantern bead there. So yeah, like I'm saying, I was just playing around, having some fun to make some dangles to hang off of my journals. So that's the end of my Halloween Project Share mini-series. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I hope it inspires you. And um, I appreciate all the feedback and all the comments. Thank you so much, everybody. That means a lot to me. Thank you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you would like to subscribe, please consider doing so. Thank you, everybody. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.